Republicans if he smokes. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. So uh, I actually don't. I don't really use drugs anymore. Uh, they make me paranoid. I, uh, I actually I spent an entire summer convinced the Grateful Dead was following me. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so I don't have any tattoos, but if I got one, I think I want to get a big. N-O, just a no on my arm there. So if somebody asks me, do you have any tattoos, I can just pull my sleeve up. <laughs> and if they're confused by that, I'll get another tattoo that says, it's called Irony, you Philistine, just above that. <laughs> and then above that, I'll have the definition of Philistine. <laughs> you know, some people have complained that some of my humor is a little too cerebral. So I've written some jokes for your cerebellum. <laughs> they won't make you laugh, but if they affect your balance and coordination, that means I'm fucking killing. <laughs> you know, I love barbecue as much as the next guy, but pulled pork just sounds like something you would pay 20 bucks for behind a 7-Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> or beef jerky, whichever. You want to <laughs> So, uh, one thing that really annoys me is when my wife tells me she's too tired for sex. Oh, boy. I'm like, really? What kind of wife? Well, you sure didn't seem too tired when you were dropping the, you know, picking the kids up at school and folding and putting away all that laundry and preparing a nutritious dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, that is 20 jokes in seven minutes. You're never gonna find this level of concentrated humor of entertainment, high octane bullshit here on stage, except for the Tabernacle of Hedonism. Thanks so much for playing along. I'll uh, see you guys later. Let's bring Tom Hill back up to the stage. It's not the worst time. Um, no, it's pretty rough. Nah, not, no. <laughs> I've been, I've been. Uh...